hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl adriana dc we are finally embracing the season of fall on this channel tonight i'm gonna be bringing you guys my top 10 spicy woody patchouli fragrances now i did not intentionally bring you guys spicy woody patchouli fragrances coincidentally the list and the fragrances that i put together fall in the spicy woody patchouli category at least nine out of ten of them so if you guys are interested in seeing my top 10 spicy woody patchouli fragrances for this fall then by all means keep uh, watching if you guys are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and for those of you who are my returning subscribers Thank you guys for supporting me. I truly appreciate your love and your support. So let's just dive right into this list. I will admit to you guys, I it took me a minute to put together my list, to put together all the fragrances that I want to include in my favorite fall scents. I do have other fragrances that give me fall vibes that I absolutely love, that I look forward to wearing during the fall season. But they, those scents are included in other videos. So I am giving you guys my top 10 fall fragrances that i think are ideal um recommendations not just for myself but these are like the most beautiful fall fragrances that i have in my perfume collection to share with you guys so let's just move on to fragrance number one so the first fragrance on my list is none other than sugar leather by un nuit normal now if you guys have not yet seen my recent review of um 10 fragrances on the brand then feel free to check that video out I'll place a card to the top so you guys can check that video out as well as a link in the description bar for you guys to check it out i had a very beautiful discovery of the full range well some of the fragrances from the un nuit nomad range and this is one of their most recent releases which was released in 2023 which is the lovely sugar leather and i was absolutely in love i am smithing i was blown away now i do intend to get myself a full bottle however the company sent this fragrance over to me and i will say to you it did take a while to come to me when it uh, when it came from the website so i don't know what the delivery time is for this fragrance but i do want to include this fragrance in my top 10 you know fall fragrances um for 2023 this is a sweet expensive smelling prune tonka bean caramel leathery and labdanum smelling fragrance now i get soft touches of leather in this fragrance but this is more of a broken in leather and despite the name of this fragrance this is not an, an extremely sugary sweet fragrance but it is in fact a well-refined sweet expensive smelling prune and tonka bean caramel smelling fragrance in my opinion and when i smelled it i just absolutely went crazy this is an absolutely beautiful fragrance you guys and i can't wait to get a full bottle in my collection but trust and believe your girl will be i'll be bathing myself in this sample i don't know how long it's gonna last but yeah i think it's a really beautiful fragrance to explore for the fall season so if you guys have not checked out you know Unreal Mad, especially sugar leather because this is like the newest release on the brand you need to check that fragrance out so this is sugar leather by un nuit Nomad. next up i have the most beautiful discovery okay i just said that right <laughs> so sugar leather it was one of the most beautiful discoveries okay but a new re another new release in 2023 that just completely blew my mind away is none other than Billie Eilish number no. two, you guys. Now, I recently discussed this fragrance in, on my channel. If you guys have not seen that video, I'm going to pop, you know, the card to the top here so you guys can go and check out my thoughts on this beauty right here. This is the Billie Eilish number no. two fragrance that was, re that was released earlier up in the year. And when I smelled this fragrance, I was absolutely blown away. This fragrance opens up with a citrusy apple blossom, black pepper, palisanto, and vanilla scent, you guys. It is citrusy. It is warm. There is a strong, sweet apple, blast, apple blossom essence in here. So combined with a palisanto and a vanilla, it is like the most interesting smelling fragrance that I have come across. And when you wear this fragrance, it warms up on the skin and it projects and it projects and like crazy. It dries down a little bit powdery 
still sweet but not overpoweringly sweet not obnoxious despite the fact that it projects a lot get the apple blossom mixing with the palisanto and of course it is not an overly thick and plying fragrance because it has the bergamot in the top and it has those citrusy touches you guys this perfume this perfume this perfume is so beautiful it is so beautiful and it just lasts like all day on your skin you guys and while you're wearing it you catch this most beautiful whiff of a very interesting apple fragrance mixing with that palace santo and it's just beautiful it's slight you know um spicy touches in my opinion but this is like it's sexy it's warm it's just it's intoxicating it's just a really beautiful smelling fragrance you guys i am in love and above all I, i'm very impressed with this fragrance you guys so bet your life this perfume along with sugar leather will be in absolute heavy rotation for this fall because this is really really beautiful you guys next up we have supremacy in oud by afnan and this fragrance was sent to me earlier up in the year and this is the season for this fragrance this is a spicy sweet oudy patchouli leathery smelling fragrance you guys this fragrance has a slight essence of leather okay so you get the leathery touches in here so you definitely get like a very like um heavy leather essence it's heavy but it's covered in the sweetness mixing with the oud and of course those spices and I want to say it has somewhat, and it's a little bit chocolatey in my opinion, unless it's the patchouli. It's not like a chocolate vibe in this perfume. This is a beautiful fragrance. Now, of course, this is, I would say, borderline unisex, okay? This is not a feminine, overly dainty, um, girly fragrance at all, but it's not that strongly masculine. It is a beautifully well-balanced unisex fragrance. But the patchouli, the sweetness, and the oud mixing together in this fragrance is everything and more. I wore it the other day, you guys, and this fragrance it lasted all day, you guys. I love the smell of this fragrance, and this is the season for this scent. This is fall, and I am definitely looking forward to playing with this fragrance. So this is Supremacy in Oud by Afna. Next up, we have Kylie's Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli, another patchouli dominant fragrance this is a spicy sugary sweet creme brulee vanilla and patchouli smelling fragrance you guys do i need to say more this is an absolutely scrumptious smelling fragrance you get the essence of the creme brulee the rum and slight booziness heavy on the patchouli loads of spices very invigorating very like a punchy fragrance there are slight leathery touches in here, so but again, it's all about the patchouli, the sugar, and the vanilla in here. And of course, the sweetness from the creme brulee, which makes it free. with level out this fragrance and makes it not too harsh, in my opinion. This is a bottle of sexiness, as if you guys did not know that already. This is one of the fragrances that I wore last year for fall, and again, I am going to be pulling this fragrance out for this year because it's just that beautiful. This is a fragrance that i resolve for the fall and winter months because it is heavy on the spices heavy on the patchouli in my opinion so this is this is fall for me you guys this is fall and everything nice with sugar and spice literally for this year you guys so this is kaylee's vanilla royale sugar patchouli <laughs> next up we have the original billy eilish fragrance which i bought i would say earlier up in the year or maybe last year i think i bought this fragrance but i have not talked about this fragrance no i think i bought this just before summer so i walked into boots and smelled this fragrance i was on my lunch break i smelled this fragrance and by the end of the day i went and i picked this baby up okay number one the price is good the size of the bottle was everything and i was like hell yeah i gotta have this fragrance in my collection this was a perfume that was long talked about on youtube and i was like oh, no i don't really care for it okay and boy was i wrong and boy was i late this is a sweet spicy vanilla pound cake smelling fragrance you guys and i am in love okay this fragrance it has i want to say when i first smelled it it smelled like um like cocoa butter cream it does smell like cocoa butter cream but there is some sugar red berries some cacao vanilla and tonka bean in this perfume I do not get a lot of the red berries in here. So maybe you get the red berry essence. Perhaps, you know, you blend the batter to make a vanilla pound cake. And then you add a bit of cacao. You add a bit of flavoring, of red berry flavoring. And that's what you come together with. It dries on powdery, sweet, 
intoxicating warm again a hint of spice inside of it this is the most scrumptious smelling fragrance you guys i am so so in love you guys know i am not for celebrities i didn't know i don't know what the hell billy eilish is i didn't know who she was i didn't know she was a celebrity i don't really care if she's a celebrity or not this is an absolute banger you guys i would say rihanna has the best um celebrity fragrance to be worn in the summer it can be worn all year round, but mostly for the summer Billie Eilish has the best fragrance to be worn in the fall and winter. I smell Ariana Grande cloud today. I can't get past the cloud though. Because <laughs> I just can't get past the cloud. I'm sorry. But I would say Billie Eilish definitely has the best fragrances for fall and winter. The price is right. The size of the bottle is everything. And it appears that they have downsized the bottle. Because this is actually a 30 mil. And look at the size of it. Size doesn't matter. <laughs> And I feel like this is like the only 30 mil that I have in my perfume collection. And I'm okay with it because of the size of the bottle. I will, however, say to you guys is that they've downsized the 30 mil bottle. It's a little bit smaller than the original. I don't know why. I don't really care because it's just the price and the size of the bottle is just everything for me. I don't mind. Normally when you get a 30 mil, the bottle is so small, it annoys you. But this is okay and it goes well with my collection. So I am I am in love with this fragrance. I'm in love with the price. I'm in love with the bottle. I'm in love with the scent profile. I'm in love with everything about this Billie Eilish scent. So this is the original Billie Eilish fragrance. Coming in in my top 10 fall fragrances for 2020. Next up is another fragrance that I absolutely look forward to wearing in the fall season. This is Sweater Weather. This is fall all over. This is this is just the epitome of fall in my opinion. And the fragrance I'm talking about is Arabian Oud Calumet, you guys. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this perfume, but I am absolutely in love. This is a fragrance by Arabian Oud. This is a sweet, warm, cashmere wood, ambery smelling fragrance, you guys. And that's that's pretty much how it smells. A sweet, warm, ambery, cashmere wood smelling fragrance. There are some blueberries, some honey. floral notes, and of course, some musky touches. But for I me, the cashmere wood, the sweetness, the honey, I want to say the ambery touches in here. So just really carries out this fragrance. And that's the body of this scent. Just cashmere wood, amber, and the sweetness from the honey. And of course, some anise in here so as well. It smells warm. It smells cozy. It smells like the epitome of, set, of, uh, of sweater weather. The fragrances, like, you know, if you smell this fragrance, I don't know if you guys have smelled this scent. But it just smells so warm and cozy in my opinion. So this is one fragrance that I absolutely look forward to wearing during the fall season. And I think this is a scent that I, you know, really need to play with a lot more this fall. When I was picking out this fragrance, this list of fragrances, it dawned on me that this is a, I want to say it's either 100 ml or 120 ml. And I've had this about two, three years now. And it dawned on me that i don't know how in god's name i'm gonna be able to get through this full bottle of fragrance let alone all of the other 100 mil bottle of fragrances in my collection you guys i'm seriously downsizing the scents that i purchased this year because i don't know how the hell i am going to get through this fragrance and i only pull out during the fall because again it's this is a fall scent it's not gonna be worn during the summer and the spring the only good thing is that in england we don't really get a lot of summer but you damn well know i head the hell out of here because i'm a summer girl i'm a summer baby i was born in the summer so summer i have to, i come alive in the summer and i go where i can come alive in the summer but yeah this is a fragrance that in order to make a decent dent i would have to like be wearing this fragrance like all year round so i don't know you guys but it dawned on me when i pull out this fragrance like how in god's name am i gonna get to the bottom of my hundred mil fragrances i don't know i don't know i really don't know but anyways my calamat by arabian oud i look forward to wearing this fragrance during the fall and winter months. next up we have desert rosewood by goldfield and banks and this is another beautiful smelling fragrance this is a spicy rosewood patchouli smelling fragrance it literally smells like a desert it smells a bit dusty you get the essence of the rose the woody elements in here so very strong on the patchouli it smells powdery but I want to say that there's essence of rose in here and it smells a little bit cold. But then again, the desert isn't exactly cold. But I'm guessing how they, you know, try to put together the theme of this fragrance. The rosewood, even though it is giving off somewhat of a dusty, woody essence, it's still coming off a little bit cold in my opinion. 
it's a little bit dry and definitely woody and you definitely get the essence of the patchouli slight bit of sweetness in it either way you put it this is a really scrumptious smelling fragrance for me you guys it's quite refined it smells um expensive it smells high-end it has this like a very refined clean smell despite being you know a desert rosewood type of fragrance you guys love this perfume as if you guys don't already know that i get already gold feel and banks is an absolute love for Next me up i have the c intense you guys and i'm a little bit late to the bandwagon with this fragrance i have been in love with this perfume for quite some time now and i finally got my hands on this beautiful fragrance this is a syrupy sweet woody patchouli smelling fragrance you guys that current absolutely shines in here so with that syrupy sweetness and of course you get the elements of the woodiness the patchouli slight spicy elements in here so however the spicy elements in this fragrance is a little bit subdued by the ambery touches in this perfume but it is like it has a richness to it a richness a little bit sticky sweet and syrupy and strong and this fragrance has like a very piercing syrupy sweet you know woody patchouli essence in my opinion when you spray this on your skin it just like shines like crazy it projects it smells womanly it smells strong it smells really nice and i am really really happy that i finally you know add this fragrance to my collection like i added this fragrance to my collection like earlier up in the year but all i know is that i am happy to bask in this perfume i have not fully played with this scent as yet at all to be honest with you guys i haven't been i have it i probably wore it once or twice or whatever but i haven't really broken in this scent just good quite good as yet so for the fall i look forward to playing with this fragrance a whole lot more so this is c passione sorry this is c intense not si passione <laughs> si intense you guys next up we have cherry oud by guerlain and this was a release that came out last year that just completely captivated me you guys this is a citrusy fresh cherry oud fragrance you guys with the essence of rose it smells expensive it smells a little bit cold it smells upscale and that's something that i love okay these fragrances here so granted they're heavy on the price tag okay but when you smell them, they smell expensive. And I love that, okay? This is a very well-refined cherry oud fragrance. It smells, it's not that Middle Eastern, in my opinion. But the oud is still quite, you know, enjoyable if you're an oud lover. Because, obviously, I am an oud lover. So, if you like oud, this is a fragrance that you definitely gravitate to. As well as, if you're not that big on oud, you can tolerate this beautiful fragrance, you guys. But, yeah, this beautiful jar, dry cherry oud fragrance with the essence of rose is definitely coming out this fall because i have been sleeping on this fragrance like all year wrong you guys so this is cherry oud by girl and last but by no means least we have tom ford's tobacco oud you guys this is a perfume i have not pulled for in a very very long time so i'm really glad to pull this scent out this year this is a spicy woody tobacco a spicy woody tobacco oud and patchouli smelling fragrance there's not a lot of sweetness in this fragrance you have the slight essence of the oud wood patchouli there is some whiskey in this from incense and some vanilla and this is most definitely a slightly smoky fragrance as you can possibly imagine quite a pleasant fragrance again borderline unisex this is not going to be every woman's cup of tea but for me this is beautiful it has this like um warm spicy smoky oud void to it okay all the other tobacco fragrances that i have it has some cher cherry vanilla you know it has something to kind of soften it up and sweeten up and make it more appealing but this is tobacco oud and wood and patchouli with the essence of whiskey and uh, and some smokiness and that's what you get from this tobacco oud fragrance i love this perfume and i look forward to pulling for this fragrance for the fall season there you have it you guys these are my top 10 my absolute most favorite top 10 spicy woody patchouli fragrances for fall i hope you guys enjoyed this list if in fact you did please give me a very big thumbs up if you guys are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time you upload and for those of you who are my returning subscribers thank you guys for supporting me i truly appreciate your support and until next time see you guys in my very next video bye